Chihuahua dogs? Poodle dog? Poodle dog? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside with the Chihuahua dogs? <laughs> hey everyone, this is just an update on old Casey. I'm also gonna be talking about foster failing, but before we do that, oh look, oh, we got a nice stretch. <laughs> Feeling a little better today. But yeah, before we do that, oh, I just realized he peed on the wall. Okay. Well, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go outside first and maybe he'll do some more peeing outside. So yeah, as you can see, he's definitely not potty trained. It's really bright out, I can't actually see what I'm doing. Okay, the shade helps. Porter's being a telephone tough guy with a frenzy, our neighbor, the husky. But yeah, he has barely, <laughs> he's barely peed in the house, or uh, peed outside, or pooped outside. I would say 80% of his poops and pees are inside. We just take him out routinely, but I have a feeling he's not very used to going in the house. Oh, we're getting stuck on the stuff here. If I were to take a guess, based on other hoarding situations my wife has shown me, he probably just pooped and peed in the house, and that's just how it was with all the dogs, and had like a weird designated poop and pee area. As you can see, he's on a leash outside because he kind of wants to hide when he comes out here. <laughs> wants to, you know, go into this corner. Same thing, ugh, he's really shaking. Same thing with the house, he's kind of found a corner and he just sits there. It's pretty sad. It certainly gives you at least a little bit of a glimpse. We don't want to make too many assumptions about the history of a dog based on their current emotional state because, you know, sometimes when you're just, you know, he just lost all of his siblings that, he, or, well, all of his friends that he's lived with for, you know, a decade or longer. So, not that weird and to be very distraught. We can't really judge behavior based on that, but having said that, I would not be surprised if he lived the kind of life I think he lived. Anyway, we're gonna go in the house because he's <laughs> he seems to be cold. And I'm gonna talk about foster failing and why we're definitely not going to adopt this guy and why we're probably not going to adopt any of the animals you'll see on this channel. And, I mean, it happens. Charlie was a foster fail. Flying Cats Felona was a foster fail. But, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. So we're hanging out in the shed. We're actually getting a little bit of interaction. I was a little hesitant on talking. I don't want to distract them. <laughs> it's slow going, but we'll get there. We'll get there. He seems to be really happy just hanging out though. Just uh, kind of going back and forth between the sun and the shade here. 